Hello, 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 everybody. Becky Cohen, Platinum Leader and Trainer. You know, I notice a lot of people like are, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Confused, um, not understanding what to do when it comes to booking, where to go, what to look for, and how to go about it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. First and foremost, you guys, you need to be doing your qualifying form, right? Um, and it's in here. I have a qualifying form inside of my Google because it's a form, okay? So we send this out. So as soon as you get somebody that wants to book with you, you send this out, correct? You send out your qualifying form. Your first question on this form is, are you prepared to make a deposit if the quote is acceptable? If they're saying anything other than yes, then I don't even really look at them. I might look at them, call them and say, um, you know, you are just on the maybe list here. Does this mean you are not really ready to go on vacation or what? And you're going to get those defining answers as soon as you call them. Yes, you want to be calling these people, right? You're, you're going to have all of their information here. When it gets down, and like I said, you guys, there is an example for you of the qualifying forms in all kinds of different areas, wherever you need to find it to put this together. You can use a Jot form. I like Google because I have an Apple. I'm all about Mac. So um, I use Google Forms, slides, so on and so forth, okay? You, you guys need to know all of this information. It's a copy and paste, create your own form, all right? All of this information needs to be filled in. So you have all of the information from the client that is asking you for a trip, whatever it is. Are you flexible? Budget per person. This is per person. Per person must have an amount. This is this is the most important question that could be asked. Is it flexible? That's your second most uh, important question. Why? Because you guys, you're going to get people that are um, giving you unrealistic budgets, and you guys should know just by the form if it's unrealistic or not. And how do you do this? Well, you guys should be searching through your vendors. When I say searching, I mean, this should be what you're doing all the time. Um, and this is considered when you're looking in your vendor sites to get to understand your vendors, how to use them. This is what we do moving forward to gain knowledge for yourself so that you're not at the last minute asking the questions, where do I go? Who do I look through? Which vendor should I be using? Is How can I find this cruise for this amount? You guys, common sense and all your um, due diligence up until this point before you even have a client is what's gonna help you moving forward, okay? So from here, when you get it back, you should be able to discern if it is realistic or not. I believe this is the one I'm going to show you. Um, this is one that I had come back. Mm -hmm. They don't have valid passports. There's four of them. Okay. Um, there's all of her stuff. What do they want? They want a hotel, a flight family theme park vacation. Okay, number, number of travelers, two adults, two children. Here are the ages at time of travel. They wanted one hotel room. Um, they wanted a standard room, two queens with a kitchen. They want a family trip. They want to go to Orlando and they're leaving LA. Now pay close attention here, you guys. They're, leave, they, they're leaving LA. They want Orlando, okay? Departure date. Um, just a couple of days. Are the dates flexible? Yes. So they want three nights. Okay. Their de de desired budget per person, you guys, is $200. What? Really? $200. What? Is 
common sense tells me right off the bat is that this is not even uh, nowhere near a price that they're going to be able to go from where are they going? LA to Orlando to a theme park. Okay, I already know that when I got down here. I know that. This is unrealistic, you guys, right? Is it flexible? Maybe. Okay, no, they don't want that. They didn't even want, they, they want to travel insurance. They um, don't think they want transfers from the hotel. That's kind of crazy because I definitely would. Okay, now the please include anything special. Okay, you guys can read this, right? Okay, so now she wants at least a four-star hotel with pool slides in pool. Airline does not matter, but at least a non-stop flight. And I would like a quote for Universal Orlando for two adults and one kid. So they want to go to Universal, a nonstop flight for $250 per person. Unrealistic. What did I do? Well, I got her on the phone and told her that it was unrealistic. Okay. Um, there's no way that they can go from LA to Orlando to Universal nonstop for $200 per person, four people going, unrealistic. Understand these things, you guys, right? So now, what is it that you need to be doing? I'm gonna come out and we're gonna go first and foremost to Carnival. You guys, when you're asking these questions, you need to be coming in here and doing your own due diligence, your own searching, whatever, making up, creating a mock booking for instance whether you use it as a mock booking um you know that is totally up to you but anytime that you're doing a search for anything whether you're just you know pretending that you're you've got a client and you're pretending that is a mock booking if you're coming in here to any of your vendor sites you need to be using this as a mock booking right so say we got people that want to go to alaska i've been having a lot of those i've been seeing the, the questions a lot here so where do they depart from they depart from three areas okay so we i just had one i just saw one that wanted to leave la duration they wanted six to ten six to nine days well, again, that is unrealistic because leaving from LA uh, to go to Alaska, uh, how many days in the water are you going to be before you even get to Alaska? You guys, be conscious of what it is that your client is actually asking for. So you can see right here, Carnival doesn't even offer it for anything other than 10 plus days from LA to Alaska. Okay, so we're going to look into it. Now let's search it. And that's all we needed to do. I don't even care about the date. So when do they have them? All right. So April of 2023 or September. These are our options. Or all the way out into 2024, April. That's it. Those are your options. That's it. Those are your options. So when do you want to go? Okay, let's go September. So we're going to pick that one. Now, well, it doesn't look right. Mm -mm -mm, something went wrong so let's just like start over mm, and again we can't like they wanted alaska i don't even know if i can do it let's just see what's here see if it searches this way there we go so um somebody wanted an alaskan trip and it's only in April, so they didn't have September. So these are the two. Somebody was asking for $1,000 per person. $1,000 per person leaving LA to go to Alaska um, for seven to 10 days. Well, they don't have them because they're a 14 day trip. You guys see right here, see? It's a 14 day trip from LA. They wanted a balcony. And they only wanted to spend $1,000 per person. That was their budget. You're going to see it right here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So 
it's just a different date, the 23rd or the 21st. Oh, this is 2024. So there's only the one. So we're going to go into the 2023. We're going to look at it. Super saver. There it is. Great rates. Okay. So if we picked it, then we're going to pick it. Let's look at the quote. It's fifteen seventy five per person. Before you add on the 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 carnival vacation protection, you want that. I always add this because I want to make sure that my guests have everything covered. That's just me. All right. So there it is. Is a five thousand dollar plus vacation just to get on the cruise from LA to Alaska. You guys should know that the deposit is that much and there you go so um if you guys are not coming in here and doing this this is what you need to be doing here's the guest quote shows them how many days are at sea to even get there to get to alaska you guys right how many days at sea this is why you are coming in to do your look if you want, if you want to be booking Alaskan cruises from LA, then you need to be looking through this. You need to be going on. And I would say Carnival is going to be your least expensive cruise to Alaska. You can you can book Norwegian, you can book Princess. Um, they are going to be a little bit more, but this is going to be your bottom line. Right? So there it is. That's how much it is. All right. That's giving you an idea. Okay, so now maybe we want to book, oh, I don't know, let's sail to, um, I always like the Caribbean, let's depart from uh, Galveston, and let's go for six to nine days. Again, you guys, if you're doing this stuff, of course, I didn't, I didn't pick the dates, let's go out, um, 2023, let's go in September. Okay. All right. So here we have them. So you want to book something, you want to put together a package for a, a Caribbean cruise leaving Galveston, then here they are. Come in and look at them, you guys. This is this is what you're doing. Six day Western Caribbean, eight day Eastern Caribbean. You know what? These are some these are some good prices. There you have it. Now you got to get them to Galveston. Maybe they're in, I don't know, maybe they're in, uh, let's just say Corvallis, Oregon. Now you've got to fly them from somewhere in Oregon to get to Galveston, Texas. Because remember, Caribbeans do not cruise from LA. Uh, again, these are things that you guys should should know, okay? These are things that you guys should know to get to the Caribbean. You're going to have to either go to Galveston, New Orleans, or Florida. This is you guys doing your due diligence on whatever it is. Let's do a fun saver balcony, although um, suites are really nice. But I'm always going to put my people on a balcony, in a, bal in a balcony, okay? balcony 809 per person and that's before we add the protection um and now we're going to add in our so 2265 deposit of 468 and then they can pay it off over time our final due date is june you guys understand this stuff get in here and play around again this is a mock booking what am i going to do on a mock booking i'm going to take ports of call Oh, Mahogany Bay, Belize, and Cozumel. I didn't even look to see what it was. I love this cruise. This is one of the cruises that I would do. Definitely. All right. Three days at sea. That's it. See the difference? Um, understand. Cruise rate per person. Okay. Yay. And now we've got to fly them there. What are you going to do on flights? You, um, if you like paid, paid attention to that, again, you guys, if you're paying attention, you're seeing that literally even Galveston at 4 p.m. That means that you're, you're, 
guest, your client needs to get into Galveston and to be able to get boarded on the ship before this time. In other words, I always make sure that my client is getting there the day before. That way they don't have to rush around making sure that they get from the airport to port or get stuck in traffic and miss their departure because they've got a time when they're supposed to board ship, right? And so I always make sure that my flight is the day before and I also get them a motel room for that night before. Okay, this is just like I said, this is just using Carnival. Where do I go for flights? I go to Centrav. Where were we leaving from? We're going to, I'm going to log in again. You guys are, are doing your due diligence when you're like looking around through stuff. Where are we leaving from? Well, I said Corvallis. It's a little ways from Portland, but I'm going to put them back. I'm going to put them in Portland, PDX. And we're going to Galveston. Uh, it's not going to come up. So it's going to be Houston. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Houston, George Bush. Okay. And when were we going? Mm -mm. What was our date? September 23rd. So I'm going to get them there on September 22nd. Dun, dun, dun. And again, this is what you guys are doing. You're coming in and you're looking at stuff September 22nd. And they're, they could possibly leave out. Let's look at our guest view again. They get in at 8 a.m. to Galveston. Maybe they don't want to leave that same day. They're going to depart ship. Um, I'm not going to get them off at, I'm not going to have them a flight at 9 a.m. because they're not going to get to that, right? So again, you guys are using your common sense on this. That was on the 30th. So let's check the 30th just to see what we have. We're going to go to adults because that's what's here. Okay, hey, so here we have it, PDX, they got to stop in Salt Lake and they get, um, that's like, oh my gosh, 1 a.m. That's kind of uh, not all right. So we've got some late flights going. Here is a straight flight. Okay, that's not a bad flight. This one's going from PDX to, and they're getting in at 11 a.m. This is the morning flight. So we're going to take that. Um, and they're leaving out of on at 8 p.m., pretty much 8 p.m., okay? So this isn't a bad flight. This isn't a bad flight. Could be a little bit better, but I could go with that. And it's $1,000. So just remember this price, right? So now for the flight, it's $1,100. Because I'm going to add money to this. Yes, Centrav charges a fee. If you guys don't understand that, Centrav charges a fee and it says it up front, shows it. All the other airlines charge a fee, but it's on the back end. It's included into the flight. And I can also charge a fee. So for these two people, I can charge a $15 fee per person when I do my checkout. So that's why I'm going to say it's, you know, $1,100, a little more than $1,100. I'm not going to go through the checkout process here. So what was our flight or our, our cruise? Again, so now we're adding $1,100. So we're at, what are we at? $29, $3,000. And we don't have our motel for yet. So now we want a motel in Galveston. And of course, we're gonna need to understand or see that it is close enough to the, the port um, to get, trans a trans transportation from 
the hotel to port the next morning. More than likely, we are going to um, have it to, oh my gosh, I can't think, have it to, room res is going to give me issues. They always want you to re-sign in. Yep. Um, I don't know what they do. Anyways, so the thing with, because you're going to get your trans, I don't know why they always do this. All right, here we go. <sighs> you always have to change a password here. I don't know why they do this. This is like annoying sometimes. Okay. Every two weeks or something, they want you to do something here on room rest, but is what it is. So again, so where are we going from to, we are going to Galveston. Okay. And what of our dates? We're going to get in there on the 23rd and we're going to leave out on the 24th oh, cancel out of that one let's put this over here with all of our stuff um so september thought it was the 22nd when was it uh-oh yep the 22nd all right, the 22nd and leaving on the 23rd, okay, to adult search. So what else do you need to do when you're doing this? And again, you guys, this is a huge mock booking. So you're going to be able to put all this stuff together. But this is what you're looking for, the best Western. And then, so average per night is 315. That's kind of expensive. So let's stay at the La Quinta. Let's like, we're going to check into, into these things and we're going to see um, what it is. The, the Hilton, this is 165. We're going to, we're going to price it. You guys can do your, your modify your search, sort by low to high. Let's do that because they're only going there for an overnight. So the Motel 6, they might not want that. The sleep in suite at 147. 142 is this one. Okay. Um, and now we're going to check the information. Two and a half stars. Mm -hmm. We're going to check their information. Why? What are we looking for? We're looking to see how close they are. So stay at the La Quinta. You'll be near the bay to the port. So it is, um, the port is a 15 minute drive, all right? Do they have, I would be calling them to see if they had transportation. That's just what I do, I call. Um, if it's not telling me here that they have it, transportation, Mm -hmm. you'll be near the port property location flexible amenities i'd be calling them to see if they had and if they didn't then i would do more of a search right and that's what i'm going to do another thing i'm going to do is make sure that they are getting transported from the airport to the la quinta and, and this is, this is what I do. This is how I do it. All right. So you're going to be looking at these things, you guys, this is your due diligence. This is how you're looking into everything. Uh, hotel again, this one, let's check this one, hotel information on the sleep in, uh, 15 minutes to the port from the Galveston cruise terminal. All right. Again, it's not telling us if they are, so I would be calling again. The nearest airports right here. 35, 38 miles. See, and this is why 
you guys are getting them in the day before. Mm -hmm. See, the preferred airport is Houston, the one that we were going at the, or maybe it wasn't. So we would have to double check that in our, nope, we, we did the other one. So we would go back and, and change that if that's our, if that's our hotel. So these are the things that you guys need to be looking at. Let's look at something other than a cruise, right? You guys are adding up all your money and you're making that an ent entire mock booking. You're going to say transfers to and from if that's what you found. Um, and all of this is, is simplistic stuff that you guys should be doing on a day-to-day -to -day basis to get in here to understand what your uh, options are when it comes to booking stuff for your clients. You, you need to be uh, knowing where to go, where to book, right? Where are we going to go now? Let's just say we're going to use Funjet. We're going to do a flight and hotel. We're going to leave, yeah, sure, Kansas City. Let's go to um, the Bahamas, okay? Let's go to Nassau and Paradise Island. Let's go, and again, like I said, you guys, this is a mock booking. Let's go from the 18th. Let's go for six nights, seven days, all right? Always add travel protection, and we're going to search it. This is a mock booking. This is what you guys are doing. You guys are coming in here and just putting scenarios together. Do I have a client that's going to the Bahamas and whatever I put in there? No. Do I want to understand what it is I need to be looking for? Absolutely. Do I want to understand what kind of money that they're going to have? What, it, what should be a qualifying budget when it comes to my qualifying form? Absolutely, you guys. These are the things that you need to already know. So you're not coming back to us and saying, hey, where can I find a thousand dollar cruise from LA to uh, Alaska? Well, pretty much you can't. Okay. I just showed you that. Right. So again, you guys, when you're doing your VAX, you're coming in here. You always, it's already preloaded. They have something selected for us. Maybe this isn't what we wanted. I know for me, it's a two and a half hour drive from Junction City, Kansas to Kansas City. So, and I sure as heck don't want a four hour layover. Again, these are things that you're going to be looking at when you are doing something from, for your client. This is what you're going to look at. Sure. Okay. Um, it's out of ways. So I might want the refundable only two seats left. It's going to tell you that. Okay, here we go. Now we're adding money to this. Okay. Uh, uh, but I want that one. I don't want a huge layover. And now it's preloaded. Uh, a, a return flight, but I'm going to look at them to see which one is the best. A 55 minute layover. All right. We're leaving Nassau at one. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the best one. Yep. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll select that. Okay. Now I'm going to look at my hotel. This is the one that they have picked out for me. Maybe it's not the one I wanted. Here's all of our inclusions. We get up to $1,260 in resort credits. Yay, yay. This is an ocean view. Oh, I love that. Although maybe I want to be ocean front. So I'm going to check out all the hotels. And this is how you do that. You come in and you open up the hotels. See how I did that? This is the one that they have pre-selected. Here's your price per person over here already. This is the flight and everything. Remember that. Um, and you can see transfer from your hotel is $59 a piece. And that's to the Ryu. Okay. Some of these might be different. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at the hotels. I'm going to look at the hotels. So I'm going to open up and I'm going to say, well, maybe I want to be at the Margaritaville. Right. What was our price so far at the, the Ryu is 4000 so this one might be a ocean front king. Let's check it. Margar Margaritaville. Okay, so we're gonna pick it. 
Oh yeah, ocean front. Let's look at the pictures. Do you love it? I kind of do, right? So we can pick our room. Which one is it? It is the deluxe ocean front. Look at it. There it is. Right? For adults, the front double double. So we just want that one because there's only two of us going. So I'm selecting that. Right? There it goes. Now we have it. And now there, there's our cost and our transportation is less, although you may find a hotel in there that is a lot less. Let's just look at the hotels again. Again, this is what you guys are doing. You want something less expensive for your clients? Then you're going to look at them, right? You're going to eat the Atlantis. Oh my gosh, the Atlantis. This is, you know what? The Atlantis is awesome. If you've done your Atlantis specialized certification, yeah, the Atlantis is an awesome place to stay for anybody. But again, if you want to, like, you're going to search through all of them, you might like be looking and that's all there are. See, 20 of them. Harborside Resort at the Atlantis, the Cove at the Atlantis, the Reef at the Atlantis, the Coral is the least expensive at the Atlantis. So maybe I want to do the Atlantis because I know I've done my certification for the Atlantis and it is awesome. So I am going to like look into the Atlantis. Okay. I'm going to check my room. Let's see. King Deluxe Terrace. Terrace, Terrace. They're all the King Deluxe Water since it's le the three adults, one child, four total. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Just because now we've brought down our, our total, right? Our other one was at 4,000. Um, our transportation is still there, cost us. Our travel protection is still there. Let's check in. Now, if you wanted to add features, add an excursion, this is where you would do it at, is in your features tab. So besides their private transportation, we don't need that. We'll just take that other one, the $59 one, right? Um, we come down past all this. We can do a Bahamas Fast Ferries day trip to Harbor Island, the sea, Seahorse Sailing Sunset Dinner Cruise, the Half Day Cruise and Snorkeling. Maybe we want to do that. What, what were our dates? I don't even remember what our dates are. So we're going to take that one and we're going to add that to our cart. Okay. So now we're still under $4,000. You guys understand now if you um, want to look at stuff and you can see here what we did. So we added that half day sailing snorkeling adventure. We are at the Coral at Atlantis. A lot of these things, a lot of things actually come in with free water park access included in our stay. Um, if we wanted to look in, and, and again, like I said, I, I know all of this, you can see the activities that are here at the Atlantis. Check all this stuff out. Check to see what they have. A lot of this stuff is included. A lot of this stuff, maybe they don't need it, need that extra, extra excursion. We're just going to put that in there just to see. You want to know how much commission you're making now from, from being inside, booking through VAX? It's right here. You're booking administration. You're going to open that up and you're going to see what your commission is. You don't like that? 291, you get 80% of that. Maybe you want to add on another $100. 80% of 381 now, right? So you're going to put that on. Now it's going to update your the, the cost of the vacation. 
and it's uh, $2,000 per person to go from Kansas to the Bahamas, that's not a bad price, okay? Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna close up our features and you're gonna save your itinerary. You guys just understand how to do all this. You're gonna save it. We're gonna save it to May, Bahamas or whatever you want it. Maybe you're gonna name it your client. You might wanna say it's, this is the Atlantis. Um, what else are you gonna do? You're gonna write down how much you added to the commission because it'll change. You're gonna email this. You're gonna email this to yourself and you're gonna use it as a mock booking. Why? You're not gonna just email that this to your client because you don't want them to have all of this information because now they're just gonna go and book it themselves. So you're not gonna do that. What is our deposit? It tells us right up here what our deposit is. Um, our deposit is $699.98. And their full, paid in full is due by April 3rd. Okay, so they can pay off as they go. I always get this emailed to myself, always email it to myself so that I have it. If I wanna create a mock booking now, I can. You guys understand that you need to be doing things like this every day to get to know your, here's that email that I emailed to myself. Okay, there it is. Now I can take the information and I can say, oh, let's go to the Atlantis in May. Um, two people, uh, trans, tr full travel protection, um, transportation. We're gonna put all of this in here. We can itemize it out if we wanted. Our options was the transportation. It's all this stuff, transportation, travel protection, and then our seahorse half day cruise. That's all of your options. Mm -hmm. And then you create a, a Google doc. That's what I do. I create a Google doc and I put it together. If I have a client that I'm doing the booking for. And this is what you guys should be doing. Again, you guys should be branding yourself. You should all have a logo. It should be simplistic. It shouldn't be all busy, busy because you want people to associate your logo with your business name. Okay. And you never put a bunch of information in here. Because again, you don't want them going off and booking it for themselves. So I took out all of the information about the flights. They only know when, it, when it's going, when it's arriving. And then the money. Okay. This was for two people as well. This was to Jamaica. So you guys get an idea of what it is that you need to be doing. Um, you're going into your vendor sites and you're doing searches. Just do some searches, okay? That way you know. What else are you going to do inside here, inside Vax? You can, you can search inside Vax for all kinds of different things, you guys. Change it up. Change it up. Go from Apple Vacations, Blue Sky Tours. That's to, for Hawaii. Um, although everybody goes to Hawaii, but this one's specifically for Hawaii. Understand what these are. You know what? Do a Universal Hollywood. Do something. You know, come in here and look around. This is what you should be doing if you are wanting to be a travel booker. Okay. Understand how much is it going to be to go from the middle Midwest to where did we go? The Bahamas. This is per person. You guys. Get an idea so that when people are contacting you and only want to spend $500 per person for two people to leave Montana to go to um, Jamaica, that is unrealistic, okay? You guys need to know what is realistic and what is unrealistic. So what do you do with that? Then you're going to contact that person back, get them on the phone, say, hey, 
I don't know if you were just being, you know, um, if you understand the cost, the air flight alone is going to cost more than $500 per person. Um, because we saw that. We saw that in our Centrav from when we left Oregon and went to Galveston. It was at $500. Okay. It was, what was that? A, almost $1,100, right? So it was right there. So know your prices, go in and look around, do some, do some searching, just play around inside your vendors, whichever ones, where are you going to go to next? You guys want to be a, D a Disney booker, right? Then go in here and look around at the prices. You guys, Disney is simple, 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 simple. Go in here, make up, make up a, a reservation again, make it up. Where do we want to go? You want to go to Disneyland? Go to Disneyland. You want to be a good neighbor? You want to stay in a good neighbor? You want to go on a Disney cruise? Look this stuff up. Check in, check out. Just put something together. Just pretend. Just pretend, you guys. Maybe they want to go in April, right? Maybe they want to go Monday through Saturday. I don't know. Um, know that inside Disney, when you have a child at 10 years old, it is adult price ticket, adult price ticket, 10 years and up. Well, how do I know that? Because I went in here and I did these searches. Have I ever booked Disney? No, I have not. But I know these things, you guys understand that these are the things that you guys need to know. Where do we want to stay? And if they don't have a specific one that they want to stay at, then hey, let's just go with this one, right? Let's go to the All-Stars. Okay, are they a Florida resident all, already? Are they a Disney Visa card holder? Do they have an annual pass? Maybe not, right? Okay, so we're just gonna go here. Yes, let's do this. That's checking for availability. Okay, here's your hotel for the 17th through the 22nd, four people. Now we're gonna check our tickets. I don't need to go all six days that I'm there, but you're gonna ask your, you're gonna ask your um, clients this. I would only want to go and have two days that I'm not going there. Do I want to go to um, four parks in one day? No, I don't. I don't. I'm an old grandma. That's not what I want to do. Maybe if it's, you know, it was May. So yeah, I'm going to add this one. But I'm not going to hop. I'm not going to hop unless there was something specific that they wanted to do. And again, this is you communicating with your client. All right, so now let's see what it is. I want the water park and all that sports park. It's it's asking us to to check the availability at the parks. I always like to add the memory maker. That way everybody's in the picture. And again, this is communication with your client. Again, you got to remember that this is just the hotel at Disney. So you would still... If I'm leaving from Kansas, then I am still um, having to get them a flight, four people flight. Yep, I'm always gonna add travel protection as, as well as you should also. Yes, always adding travel protection because that's something that any person should have. And if they're not, you should have a form that has them sign, they're declining it. And that's something that you can make up yourself just saying about declining it. I think somebody else out there has that. So here it is. Here's your bottom line for your Disney. Here's your checkout. We're going to go and check out. Was that simple? Just to look at you guys. Understand again, I'm going to say it over and over in this video because you guys need to be doing this. This is a mock booking. Here it is. This is a mock booking. You've done a little scenario. Now you can take some information and put it wherever you want to put it. You're not going to put what, what, where they're staying. You're just going to say Disney, May or April, blah, 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 blah. You're going to, I copy and paste all of this. Whoops. That's all I do. You're going to copy and paste all of this. This is like I said, so this is your mock booking. 
let's go in and let's put it someplace. Again, th these are easier to put in. I'm going to take this out. Okay. Four park ticket with a Disney and water. I'm going to separate it. Okay, memory maker travel protection. That 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 right there is a mock booking. Um, I have over here a Disney picture that I could add. Flight, you're going to add in there flight. Flights can be added. You don't want to say can be included because people don't understand that. Okay. Price is subject to change. Subject, subject. Oops. All right. And then you can add in your own information. Oh, our price. We can add in our price. You can add in deposit due 377. Sometimes that's all I'll put. Seven. When was it due? Today. We'll just put tomorrow. We won't put anything. So again, you have these options in a group. Hold that. Hold that. Okay, there you go. That's your simple mock booking. Okay, you guys understand, understand what it is. I had just seen something. Mm -hmm. Oops, now it's not there. I saw somebody post something and now it's not there because we already came out of it. So you guys understand this is the scenarios. These are what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. You can come all the way and look all the way through it that they want to pay a thousand dollars today. Um, and then they have until March. So maybe they want to pay a thousand dollars today instead of that. You guys can do that. You can hold it for three days. Um, then you're going to go in and search your flight, right? For four people leaving from wherever they're leaving from, right? Maybe they want to pay off the rest. And if they pay a thousand, then they're owing 29, uh, Maybe they want to pay it off with their income tax. Okay, you're going to be able to do that. I hope this was helpful. You guys need to be coming in here into your vendors and getting an idea of what it is that you need to be looking at. Uh, again, you should have this qualifying form. You should know what is um, uh what is right when people are asking you to go someplace? Is it, is it really realistic? Those are the questions you need to understand when you have this form filled out. You need to be able to look at this and see in here, this is our main thing today. If you haven't learned anything, you need to understand if their budget is saying whatever, um, and you know that they're going from, like I said, maybe they're going from Idaho to Aruba 
and they only want to spend $1,000 per person, really ask yourself, is that feasible? No, it's really not. So that's when you get them on the phone. And I took that question out of mine. I used to, I had in here a question. Um, it was big because I charge. I normally charge for my quotes. And it says that in here that I will call them. So I have to update my form. But you guys should have this qualifying form. Well, not mine that says away from home travels, but you should have your own qualifying form that needs to go out to each and every person because this is how you weed out the looky loos. Okay, right here. If they're not ready, you get them on the phone and say, um, are you just looking now? Are you looking for in the future? And if they say that, well, they just kind of wanted to get an idea, you have the conversation with them that, well, let's look now then and maybe we can just put a deposit down. Would that be something that you'd be interested in? And if they say yes at that point, then you're going to ask them to continue, you know, to um, whatever. You're going to do the research then. And that way they have time to pay it off. Again, another thing you guys need to know that you cannot book a flight today for 2024. It doesn't happen. You cannot book a flight today for 20, December 27th, 2023. You can only book a flight up to the farthest out is going to be nine months. Again, these are things you guys need to understand and know. So when you're saying, well, Vax won't give me um, such and such for, uh, for January 2024. Well, did you have a flight included? That's why. Okay. Again, my name is Becky Cohen. I hope this was helpful for you guys, your platinum leader and trainer.